Welcome student. Today's experiment name is determination of percentage moisture content and drying rate and construction of drying curve from the subject pharmaceutical engineering lab subject code BPT 394 for B pharmacy second year third semester student presented by Subham Pal, assistant professor department of pharmaceutical technology GIS University. First, aim of today's experiment. The aim is to determine the percentage moisture content and the drying rate of a given wet solid mass and construction of drying curve. This is the aim of today's experiment. Next, the principle behind this experiment. Basically, the behavior of the drying of solid, which is determined by the drying curve, the time record after drying a batch weight of a material in a dryer machine. And it can be calculated with the help of the construction of drying curve. That means we have to calculate the drying curve and construct the drying curve and calculate the time which is required after drying a batch weight of a solid mass in a dryer machine. Now what are the drying curve? Drying curve are the graphical representation which is obtained by drawing a percentage moisture content lost during drying versus the drying rate. So that means through this drying curve, we can calculate the percentage moisture content versus the drying rate. And it should be calculated by a graphical representation called drying curve. Now, how to calculate the percentage moisture content? Percentage moisture content is calculated by dividing weight of water lost to weight of dry solid multiply with 100. Before that, how we can obtain the data? The data is obtained by drying a wet solid in a dryer machine and after some interval, we can determine the moisture content lost after weighing the petri dish or dried solid mass. In this way we can obtain the data. Secondly, how we calculate the drying rate? Drying rate is calculated by dividing weight of water lost divided by area of drying petri dish into or multiply by time. So this is the two cal calculations are there through which we can calculate the percentage moisture content and drying rate. I again repeating this two calculation. Percentage moisture, cal percentage moisture content is calculated by dividing weight of water lost divided by weight of dry solid multiplied by 100. And drying rate is calculated by dividing weight of water lost divided by area of drying petri multiplied with time. This is the principle behind this experiment. Now, what are the glassware and the instrument are required for performing this experiment? First of all, the requirement are petri dish, hot air oven, clinical thermometer, spatula, calcium carbonate powder, digital balance, and graph sheet or graph paper. These are the following requirement which are required to perform this experiment. Now the procedure of this experiment step by step. First of all, take a clean petri dish without any bleed and determine its weight as W1 gram. Secondly, determine the area of the petri dish which is mentioned as a here and 
also calculate its weight, which is again W1 gram. Take 5 gram of calcium carbonate in a petri dish and let the weight of the petri dish and those weight of the powder can be termed as W2 gram. Fourth step, add some water to make slurry and weigh the slurry, let it weight be W3 gram. Again, the fifth step is then keep the petri dish containing slurry in a hot air oven with temperature maintained at around 65 to 70 degrees centigrade. Next, continuing the process and determine the weight of the sample at every 15 minutes. When we get the constant weight after drying for some interval, stop the, stop the process that is drying process when there is no change in the weight of sample. That means when we get the constant weight. Next, determine the percentage of moisture content and drying rate for each time interval using the following equation. Those equations I already discussed in the previous slide. Percentage moisture content equal to W3 minus W2 by W2 minus W1 into 100 and drying rate is equal to W3 minus W2 divided by area of petri dish which is A into time. Then we should plot a graph of drying curve by the taking by taking the percentage moisture content on x axis and the drying rate on y axis. So the graph is ready after taking the percentage moisture content which I get through calculation and on x axis and drying rate on the y axis through the calculation. So these are the procedure step by step of the experiment. Now we move on to the graphical representation of the procedure step by step. First, the weight of the calcium carbonate is taken at first. Then the weight of the empty petri dish is taken and record the weight. Then water is added to the calcium carbonate powder to make the slurry. The slurry should not be thin or should not be thick. It should be a slurry, not a paste. The slurry is ready. It should be a suspension, not paste, which I told earlier. Next process, the slurry is way in the digital balance after that. Then the slurry containing petri dish is kept into the hot air oven for the drying purpose. Remember, the temperature of the hot air oven should be maintained around 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. After 10 to 15 minutes interval, the petri dish can be removed to take the weight and the same process can be continued until its constant weight we get. After some interval, we can get ultimately the dried slurry. That means the, we get the constant weight of the slurry. The slurry is fully dried now. After getting fully dried slurry, the constant weight is measured and then move to the calculation part after calculating the percentage moisture content and the drying rate and plotting the graph as the percentage moisture content on x axis and drying rate on the y axis. Then record the calculation. So this is the 
conclusion of today's experiment. Hope you like it. Please go through this presentation once again. Thank you.